show works for me yeah the good voodoo i don't do the bad voodoo okay but um voodoo do do voodoo magic okay well you can call it whatever you like okay. i've always been doing voodoo ever since i was like 17 but you know what this is sweet potatoes himalayan salt and cinnamon very good for detox. Sweet potatoes. You should eat this in the morning. You eat this throughout the afternoon. You could put a little hot dogs in there. You could put a little pepperoni in there. You are going to lose weight. I just told you a secret how to use lose fucking weight. It's by eating fucking sweet potatoes, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not. I weigh perfect for my weight. But uh, let's get on with the subject right here. Okay. If you have any comments, questions, or insults, or road specs, you put it down below. You masses of asses. These videos are not pertaining to you masses of asses. You are not, you are not logical or, or you cannot pay attention enough to me. Because I'm too cringy. Get out of here. I didn't ask you for your fucking subscriptions. But if you want to subscribe and try to get me in trouble, go ahead. It's better to push the follow button. Now, this video is about receiving negative energy in order to return it to the sender and also receive positive energy. When I was younger, now, when I tell you this magic spell here, I'm going to just call it a magic spell. I'm gonna, I ain't going to show you no diagrams. I'm not going to show you no frames. Of imagery. I want you to close your eyes and think. Are you pure enough to do any type of magic? I'm a Jesus type. So I have no sins. I, have, I can cast the first fucking stone. Because I can. Can you say that? You can't. Okay. Second thing. Is your intentions to use magic upon you? A person you do know or don't know. You better be very careful who you cast magic upon. Because that should come back on you. Because you didn't know that person. That's on you. Is that your reason why you want to learn magic? As me, my magic is more like the ghost rider. You know, ghost stare. You know, the ghost stare. He looks into a person's soul and actually can read you. He won't find nothing in mine. Because I suffered a lot. Also. What about your health? Do you care enough about your health so you can be as pure as you can possibly be? It's not a lot of guys like me out there, okay? So you want to be the same like me, right? So you can't cast any magic if you those three things in your head. Your health is bad. You have negative intentions because you don't you don't care. You know, you got sensitive. If, for example, you want to do something to me because I sound cringy or... You got sensitive upon something. You got you got hung up on something I said. That's no that's no good way. That's no good reason to use magic. Muse, all magic has karma to it. But let's skip all of the semantics here. Okay, we're just gonna talk about here how to cast it. You have to receive. My magic is more. You have to receive the negative in order to receive the positive. If you receive the negative, listen. If you receive that negative energy and you hurt. You know you put everything out there in the in the air, in the ether. Motherfucker, you put it out in the ether like, yo, I tried my best. And this person hurt me. You have to look in the past and see what you did. I'm not talking about saying, think about what you did in your past life. Which is another subject. I think I'm here because of something in my past life. Okay. But think about this new life here. For a moment. Did you do evil things upon people in your past? You better do what Mahatma Gandhi said. Go back to that person. Wherever that person has done. You can't do, you can't cast the magic I cast if you did wicked things or bad things to people. You can't do it. So you might just leave right now. If you did bad things to people in your past, 
you have to go back. Who you hurt? Who did you hurt? Now, okay, so okay, you passed that part. Now we're gonna we're gonna so since I got some people off. Um, if you have a pure heart of gold and you have no person you harmed in the past because of some sort of sensitivity issue you had or something you just didn't like what that person said or, you know, you know, you, 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 you move forward, you have matured and evolved, then you can make your own symbols, your own spells. But you have to make sure you can acknowledge that someone's speaking your name in the air. Me, I hear a voice. When, I, when someone talks about me, I hear a sound, like a ping sound. I'm, I'm wondering, okay, are they saying something negative? Then I speak to my third voice. And they say that someone's always speaking about you sometimes. Which one is it? Always or sometimes? And I tell them, you handle that. You handle that shit. Okay? If you can do that to your voice and sound, you handle that shit. You control demons like fucking Solomon. Then you, then you have to worry about it. So let's say, for instance, you walk down the street. Okay, somebody step on your toe. You don't have to say nothing. That's how powerful your magic is. And then at the same time, a month later, that person's in a wheelchair because he stepped on your motherfucking toe. That is what you show. You seen evidence of your power because you activated your power. I'm not giving you no symbols here. My symbols may not work for you. Everybody's different. So whenever you hear a Wiccan telling you that this works and yeah, yeah, you better make sure that's not pseudo shit. Pseudo babble. Don't do that. Don't listen to someone else's advice about Wiccan. Listen to your own heart about Wiccan. Don't t you know, I give advice. This is what I do. But it might not work for you. A fool says one thing will work for everybody. Unless they found a magical artifact. And that artifact is not going to be, you know, publicized on the air. It's not. If you found a magical artifact, keep it to yourself. Because somebody's going to rob you. Don't tell people what the magic artifact is. I found a magic Moses stick in the woods. But I don't really need it, though. So now you understand how to do reflective magic. You have to receive the negative energy first. Then you have to suffer. Then it comes. <laughs> then you tell them, I told you so. Then you just see what you just did. You did tell them, okay? You speak it. Speak everything, including death if you need to. Even if you're joking around. Sometimes I don't I don't mean to talk about death, though. Because some people just need to learn. And I just joke around about it. And who, who jokes around death? Me, I, because I'm a sadist. I'm a Satanist and a Satanist. Please ask a question before you jump to conclusions. Please leave if you don't like asking questions before conclusions. A Satanist is someone who believes in their own belief system. That's it. They don't believe in the devil. That's a lie. Alex Acrobin. He done his own thing to his own magic. People say, I sound like Alex Acrobin. I said, there you go. It's about health. Self-respect. In worship of the self. Because you are magic. But you have to make sure you can do that. You can back up yourself. Because if you ain't taking care of your health. You ain't magic. But your magic might be strong enough to use it. It's okay. Everybody's different. Some people fuck up their bodies. But to prove something. You have to test it out. But sometimes. It, that test can hurt the person so bad that. You don't want to be around people no more. That's me. <laughs> That's me, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't really hang too much on people because I, I tend to get people in trouble for them talking some shit that's not even true, okay? But other than that, if it's truth, then it won't affect you. But I just showed you how to use, use, um, do reflective magic. There's many ways of doing it. And if someone tells you it's only one way, they're a fool. Just as a lot of scholars say mathematics is the universal language of the law. I said, no, it's not. That's not a fact. Who told you that? If you can make A plus B equal to C, that's not logical. That's an order. Okay, Some dimensions don't work by order. All right. I'm out of here, and I hope you learned something. Peace.